Well, I think Stephanie Meyer um, is a wonderful writer. And I think she's made uh, millions of people very, very happy. You know, any time a writer succeeds on that scale, there's a gift there and a knack. And, and I, I think all writers should celebrate, you know, because she's, she's done wonderfully well. This is good for writing. This is good for books. Now, am I a fan of Twilight? No, not really. I mean, I have looked through the books. I've read some of them. I've sampled her prose. It certainly seems competent and easy to read and and good, and I can understand why somebody would love it. I did go to the two movies, and I saw them, and I thought they were entertaining, but they were for very young people. What fascinated me about them was that they were, I thought they were taking a romantic idea that goes back to Jane Eyre by, by Charlotte Bronte. The idea of, of a young, sensitive uh, heroine falling in love with somebody who's really potentially dangerous and older, infinitely older, though he looks like he's the same age, um, who then becomes a protective figure to her. That's almost the same story that's in, in Charlotte Bronte's great classic, Jane Eyre. It's the formula for woman's romance. It, the term has been denigrated by a lot of popular writing, but the truth is it's a very wonderful formula. And it has a lot to say about what we experience in life and the way we approach the opposite sex and, and their da the danger and the mystery involved in the opposite sex. And I saw that in the movies, and I thought, how incredible. She's, Stephanie Myers found a way to redo this in a completely fresh way. Um, so I thought it was kind of enchanting, and I, I really enjoyed, I enjoyed all that. It's not what I would choose to take to a desert island, island you know. It's not what I would what I read to escape, but I certainly have respect for it. Um, I'm curious about the phenomenon. I'd like to hear from the people about what they like about the books. I w I've been criticized in the press uh, the last few days because I did an interview with someone about the meaning of the vampire in literature. And this person asked me in that context what I thought of Twilight. And I said in that interview that I thought the idea that an immortal would go to high school was a silly idea. Well, unfortunately, a lot of Miss Meyer's fans have been very insulted by that remark. I've been accused of bashing her and bashing her books. That's really not the case. And I like her very much, and, and, I, and I like what she does very much. I was trying to talk about the concept of the immortal and how we imagine immortals and, and what they would do. And to me, um, the concept of an immortal choosing to go to high school instead of Kathmandu or Venice or, or China is, is ridiculous. It's kind of silly that somebody who was an immortal would go to high school year after year. But this is a genius, a stroke of genius on, on Miss Meyer's part because this is what makes Twilight so wonderful. The vampires are in high school and Bella is in high school. And so it works wonderfully. So I hope you will understand I'm not bashing her. I'm simply giving an opinion as somebody who also writes about immortals that that's not the way I would do it. And I think that's a bit silly, but I think it's worked like magic.